I still remember my first day at CPSA. My entire life I had gone to public school, and when I decided to transfer to CPSA for my last two years of high school, I didn't really know what to expect. I still remember that first day when I walked into that building and I thought to myself, wow, I left such a big school for this building. But I was so happy to see so many friends and Muslim brothers of mine that I'd known from before. And it was amazing to finally be in an environment where I felt comfortable. I felt comfortable being a Muslim and I felt comfortable being a student. And so when I look back now 16 years later, Alhamdulillah, it's refreshing to think about those times. That was a time that I was able to accomplish things academically while being in an environment that promoted my growth as a Muslim and forming bonds of brotherhood with many people that I still keep in touch with on a very close and daily basis. CPSA was started about more than two decades ago by a visionary, Dr. Salim Rahman, whose uh, vision was to produce leaders uh, for the Muslim Ummah. And he started this as a high school uh, with about 100 students. And pretty soon it uh, has it grew. Now we have this school from preschool to high school and have currently 430 schools. CPSA has earned his recognition through excellence in education and also by various tournaments and activities after school like MIST, like we have Math Count, WISE and others. The important thing is the major recognition is by the Washington Post as the number one challenging school in Illinois. That is the most prestigious award we have for the CPSA. CPSA not only offers the terms in excellence in terms of education, the staff we have has been working hard to prepare the students to go for higher education in the top known universities and Ivy League schools. We also have the students uh, where we have 15, uh, 12 AP courses and 15 honor courses. We do have 24 AP scholars. We also have two merit scholars and we also have nine state scholars with an average of 29 in ACT score. This is definitely a remarkable improvement in terms of academic excellence and naturally you will find our students are getting better and better every day they come here with the help of the parents, with the Islamic environment, with the excellence in education. I've been a CPSA parent for 18 years. My son started here uh, as a preschool student and now I have two daughters, junior and senior in CPSA. Uh, I, my experience at CPSA have been really wonderful. If I see the growth of my children, I see their character, I see their academic progress, I see their engagement with community. I just feel like, you know, I've gotten the, the most from my money. And uh, I'm very delighted that they, were, they had a chance to go to CPSA. Uh, I was fortunate enough that I got a job that I could stay close to school. Uh, but I know, I've, I know parents who have moved from Boston and farthest places like Arizona to come to CPSA. So my experience has been just wonderful at CPSA. This is my 12th year being here as I have been a student since first grade. Um, my brother also graduated CPSA. Um, my cousins, there's just been a whole like family tradition coming to CPSA. My sister is also a junior and is going to graduate next year, inshallah. Um, being at CPSA, I have been involved in many different extracurricular programs, a lot of student council work and other programs that not only focus on education but character building. CPSA was really important to my fundamental growth as a person because I had teachers to support me. I had the Islamic impact of friends and being like constantly religiously motivated. Um, any questions that I had about Islam, my teachers would so eagerly answer. And it was very, it was like a very safe place to be in a world that's constantly developing and changing with the social and moral impacts and different ideas that constantly grow and emerge in like the 21st society. Um, I absolutely love CPSA. 
And let me just tell you, I have a, a, a long drive uh, to work, but when I get here, I just absolutely love it because this is a one-of-a-kind one school. Um, not only academically, we know that CPSA is really advanced academically, but also um, it's a great Islamic environment. Um, we, uh, we stop for prayer every day, and the students really get uh, to experience that congregational prayer. Um, uh, men and women dress modestly, which is in line with our Islamic uh, teachings and values. Um, there's a great emphasis on um, honesty and integrity and giving and caring for each other, helping each other out. Um, we have high school students, they're engaged in um, a lot of outreach programs, um, charity work. Um, so there's a lot going on. Um, academically, we have a, a really extensive curriculum and we really take it beyond the books, the textbooks. Um, I personally like to um, tap into the students' higher learning and critical thinking skills. Um, I do a lot of, I'm big on hands-on activities. Um, my lessons are inquiry-based, which means that they, uh, you give students activities and you in, uh, give them opportunities to discover for themselves the concepts that you're trying to teach them. Um, I also engage in cooperative learning, um, cooperative uh, group work, uh, where students, there's a lot of discussion. It's not random talk. It's a very focused discussion um, uh, designed to reach the objectives of the lesson. Um, so, um, so you know, we, t we try to reach out to all kinds of learners, all kinds of intelligences. Um, and, and I also do uh, audiovisuals, kinesthetic, uh, you know, TPR, which is total physical response, so that you don't miss anyone. And there's all this range of abilities, this range of uh, learners that you want to, you know, um, reach out to. From day one, CPSA has had quality people that have led to its success. Other things are also needed for an organization to succeed, and among them is the facilities and resources that are available to that organization. Sixteen years ago, the facilities that we had at CPSA were meager and humble at best. And despite those humble resources, we see all of the things that CPSA and its students have been able to accomplish through the grace and the fadl of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now as we embark on the next chapter of CPSA, we are sorely in need of the facilities to help this next generation of students to inshallah accomplish bigger and better things religiously and academically that were there before. I encourage each and every single one of you to be part of this exciting journey. Alhamdulillah, we are going to break ground for the new building uh, beginning November of this year. And with the new building, which is uh, proposed to start in 2018, we will have, inshallah, more than about 200 students, about 250 students, and uh, it will help us increase our economic base. Plus, we can add a lot more uh, programs which we currently cannot do it with this space. Our school was slated for 250, now we have 430. And with very limited space and so many constraints, we have been able to achieve this. So imagine if we have a full-size gym and full-size, uh, full, full-fledged uh, labs and a state-of-the-art library, inshallah, we'll be achieve a lot more. And we, as we said in the beginning, uh, the school is producing the leaders for the Muslim Ummah. And uh, inshallah, uh, with your help and support, we can accomplish these goals. And this will be a subtajaria because a Muslim student will come and benefit from him and benefit the community and his progenies will continue to produce rewards for you for you for long, long, long time.